Hi, welcome to Awkward Amster. Today we'll be taking a look at this Innova OBD2 car scanner. The model for this one is 6030P V1. They sent me this recently. Came at a great time because my Lexus, the one I use in a lot of my other videos, the check engine light came on. Show some of the pages from the manual here. Now, the full manual is listed on their website. So this is more of a, just like a quick start guide. The cord is about two and a half feet in length. Now let's plug this in. A car's OBD port can be anywhere. For this car, it's here. For my other cars, it could be here. For like the Honda Accord, the Honda CRV will be on, on that side over there. But it's usually around the steering column area. What I just unplugged was the uh, insurance dongle. You gotta have that in order to uh, qualify for a discount. There's only one way to insert this. So let me just show you what it looks like there. So when I'm inserting it, just push it in. That's it. Now that the engine's not turned on yet, let's check out English, yes. Standard. This is my current firmware and everything. That scan took about 20 to 30 seconds. I purposely did not turn on the engine. I just want to see what it would do. Saying so it's trying to unable to establish communication and verify the connection to the DLC. Okay. So for the DLC. Here's their app on a smartphone. This will send the report to the smartphone app. It's a free app, Repair SOL2. And what I've already done was I created my account. So now I just need to pair it with the device. So I'm gonna press that Bluetooth button there. This should automatically, and it did. On this side, back on the smartphone, I'm just gonna press on the device. And keep in mind, the car right now is not running, so I don't expect it to really send much information back to this the smartphone app. But I'm just doing this right now to see what it says. Okay, no reports display. Let me head to the menu system, and let's do a battery test. For the battery test, I can do that, well, it's a two-part. When the vehicle is not moving, Scroll down here. Okay, let's hit this to continue. Turn on the headlights. Do that. This will take about 20 seconds. Turn off the headlight. Okay. Now start the engine one time. Battery status, bad. That's not good. Let me test the alternator then. See if it's able to charge the battery. why it's not testing the alternator. Press enter to continue. Alright, let's go to uh, system status then. Since the engine's running. We found seven problems. Page. It's none of these Lexus. Okay, so here are the problems with this vehicle.
Yeah, so there's definitely a lot of issues with this car right now. That's why I mentioned earlier for this vehicle, check engine lights on, ABS light is also on. Let's see what the number seven is. Heat sensors. Now back at this smartphone lab, vehicle information is required. Okay. Find my VIN number. I had to manually enter my car's VIN number. There's no barcode scan since this car is quite old. It's a 2000 Lexus ES300. And I'll generate a report for my vehicle. Engine, let's check out engine first. Okay. It's basically telling me what I need to get to fix the the codes it discovered. Let's check out maintenance. Yeah, these are what I already do. Predicted repairs. So based on our data, it's likely that the following repairs will be required for your vehicle within 12 months. Alright. Interesting type of report. It also tells me about recalls. Let's go back here. Report history. That was what I just did before. It's a good thing it saves it. Let's see if I can export it and send it to someone. I don't see an export feature right now. Let's see what happens if I long press it. Nope. Connectivity, support, home, road side assistance. Let me do a uh, live data. Since the engine's running, I want to see what kind of data I can get live. Some folks out there, not with repair vehicles, but with other vehicles, they want to do any sort of tuning, the live data will be useful. Uh, for my car, because it's too old to set live data. Back at System SAS, we saw uh, freeze frame. These are things we saw before. So what else is there? Service reset, firmware version, tool library, vehicle information. So now, now I'm trying to erase all the codes. So erasing all DTCs, freeze frames, data, reset. I am monitors showing off, shut off the engine and place the ignition on. Erase quest has been sent. Let me turn the vehicle back on now. The trick engine light is still there. Shut the engine off. I tried that already, it did not work. Let me try this way. With the engine on, now the uh, check engine light has gone off. But well, my traction control, the ABS lights, that's still flashing. I think the main selling point here is not really this device. This functions as any other OBD2, but it's the information that this device sends over to the app. And this app makes it very easy for us to know exactly which part to purchase. Now, this app, I did not find a way to export this. So let's say if I want to send this to my mechanic. Yeah, I essentially need to just take screenshots where her. I don't see an email functionality or a way to export this as a PDF. That will be a, a good addition for this app. It is very easy to use. 
I can reset the check engine light on my vehicle. Not sure why the instructions on here for resetting check engine light said to turn off the engine. Usually it's got to keep the engine on. But either way, I was still able to reset it. I'll place the link to the design below. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to let me know. Thanks for watching Awkward Hamster. Bye.